It's been viewed more than 11 and a half million times in just the last two months, making it the most watched video of this election year. Sorry, Obama girl. The star instead, an Iraq War veteran, who in the video states his reasons that he plans to vote for John McCain and why he says he feels the war in Iraq is the right thing to do and why he says Senator Obama is dead wrong when it comes to just that. When you call the Iraqi war a mistake, you disrespect the service and the sacrifice of everyone who's died promoting freedom. Freedom carries with it a price. Because you do not understand nor appreciate these principles, sir, I'm supporting Senator John McCain for president. He too made a huge sacrifice promoting freedom because he understands a fundamental truth. Freedom is always worth the price. And I'm proud to be an American where at least I know I'm free. And I won't forget the men who died who gave that fight to me. It was supposed to be a little thing, but since debuting online, it's been picked up by an ad agency so it can air on television as well. With us now, the man in the video, Army Sergeant Joe Cook. Sir, great to see you. First of all, thank you for your service. What, what, made, you, what made you make that thing? Um, you know, uh, we always want to support the troops, you know. And uh, I think sometimes our message gets a little diluted um, with everybody thinking about the war and thinking about other things. Uh, and mostly uh, just support the troops and everything they do because uh, they're America's heroes. And word. Uh, as a guy who has a, has a brother-in-law who was over there in that, w in that war and on and on, I mean, I feel the same way you do, and I think the vast majority of Americans feel the same way. But there's one thing I wanted, to, I wanted to get your take on. At the beginning of that video, you say that Senator Obama thought the war was a mistake. And as a result, and because of that, that's, that's being disrespectful to the people who have fought and died. In fact, let's listen to this. Having spent 12 months in the Iraq theater, I can promise you this was not a mistake. I've witnessed firsthand the many sacrifices made for the people of Iraq. Those sacrifices were not mistakes. The Iraqi people are just like us. They want a chance to live in a secure world, free from tyranny, free from terrorism, free to prosper, free to raise their children and pass on a future. Are they better off today than they were in 2002? You bet. Hmm. That that really wasn't the clip I was talking about. You know the part I'm talking about, where you said he thinks I, the I know war was a mistake and that that's disrespectful for the troops. Help help people understand your point of view there. Um, when you say stuff like that, you know you're saying that what they're doing is a mistake. That everything that they're there for is a mistake, and that when they go out and they're promoting freedom and they're promoting the right for people to vote. It's kind of a slap in the face when you're criticizing them back here, the soldiers part of it. Um, now, take granted, I, I believe that everybody has a right to have their different opinions on the war. That's just mine. Um, I think that calling it a mistake is really just a slap in the face. Well, I tell you what, I, you're more entitled to have an opinion than those of us who are sitting around just talking. You were over there walking. But I, I, guess, I guess the reason that I ask is because so many people now look back and say not what we're doing and not the soldiers, not the fine work that they're doing on our behalf, but the original idea that going over there and attacking that initial part was a mistake. And, and the idea that they would be disrespecting the soldiers, I, I bet that's troublesome to some people, you know? Because that, if, I, if I thought that were the case, you know, I, I might go, wow, I, that's not what I meant, you know? Um, a lot of people forget that Saddam Hussein uh, broke a lot of international treaties before we even went to attack. Right. Um, Bush gave him a lot of opportunities to, uh, to fix what he was doing, and he didn't. So going in was not a mistake. I mean, we, we got rid of a, a dictatorship who was torturing his people. I mean, that, you can't have that happen. Sergeant Cook, normally, in most elections, it's full-on Republican for, for the men and women of the military. I know it was for George W. Bush in 2000 and 2004. It, is there more of a divide right. now? Do you, do you know more people who are voting Democrat this time or not, within, within the military? Uh, with, with my military buddies, I would say most of them are going to vote Republican. Um, that's usually the general rule of thumb that it's always been to me. Um, as far as there being more Democratic voters, I, I don't know. Uh, all my good buddies are all voting uh, Republican. Sergeant Cook, what's going on in your life these days? 
Well, right now uh, I own my own business. Uh, I have a partnership with my next door neighbor doing uh, valet parking for veterans hospitals. Um, I'm also working on the Dan Duffy campaign. He's a Republican running for state senate uh, up in my district. Uh, that usually pretty much keeps me busy all day long. It sounds like it would. Sergeant Cook, again, thank you very much. It's nice to meet you. It was very nice to meet you.